Hey guys, look what we got. Our Abco Can't Leak Fully Brass Panel. So we got it the other day. We're in a position where we can shut off the water of the coach and install it. It looks pretty easy. Self-explanatory, I'll put it to you that way. Looks like we have three connections here, one here, and of course the three on the side. This is the one that was leaking before. So I'm gonna replace it. And we're gonna see if it works. So stick around. So the first thing we need to do is shut off the water supply to the coach. And then we've got to take the pressure off the lines. So I'm going to take the pressure off the lines. Now that the pressure is released, I think I can start unhooking some hoses. And of course, there's not enough play in the hoses to pull it out. So I guess I get to unhook the hoses from the backside. Well, it was kind of a tight fit, but I got the old one out. And here it is. Um, you can see the plastic valve body. So I marked all of my lines on the backside and uh, should be able to match it up pretty well. Uh, the new one's got an all brass valve body, so hopefully that takes care of our issue. Well, it wasn't easy. <laughs> it's like kind of a tight space back there, but I got everything put back together, so I'll put the screws back in the panel and turn on the water and see how we do. I recommend when you go back there, use a magic marker and mark your hoses. Maybe even take a picture with your phone if you can get in there. It's kind of tight, but I did both. I marked all my hoses and I took a picture of where they all fit. Fittings all s are all in the same location, so it made it kind of easy. Screw holes are all the same, so it matches up, matches up real well. Oh, the other thing I discovered, you've got to uh, close your hot water tank, the hot water line, otherwise it'll drain into the backside, so that was a lesson learned. So the other thing I just noticed, there's no click. Yeah, there's no click to this one. It has three positions instead of four. City fixtures and dry camping are on the same click. The tank fill is all the way to the top and winterized fixtures is on the bottom. Well, it's in. Um, I had some issues with the uh, compression washers. I had a couple of leaks when I put it back together. The uh, compression washers were apparently weak. I don't know if it's because DRV used wrenches when they put the fittings on or, or what happened. But anyway, I went to the hardware store and picked up a couple of new compression washers and it seems to be working just fine. As I said before, there are no clicks on the um, on the handle anymore and so you just have to I guess 
point it in the right direction and it goes. Um, doesn't seem to be an issue. But uh, there's the new, there's the new uh, Abco valve and it seems to be working fine. I'll keep you posted. We've had the new can leak panel on for a number of weeks now and it seems to be working great. I replaced those two cone washers and nothing's leaking so everything seems to be just fine. It seems to be filling the tank. Uh, the, it's not backfilling into the tank when we're on city water fixtures or pump and so I'm gonna give it uh, a thumbs up. We did discover one thing though the water heater bypass valve is backwards so I connected it like the old panel was set up and discovered that the handle is backwards from the original panel. I did a little research online and come to find out, yeah, you have to swap two of the lines, but I didn't. So I'm just going to relabel those two and move on with life. But uh, for the most part, the new can't leak panel seems to be working just fine. Thanks for watching.